Okay guys, this is my 31 two-door sedan that I'm planning on restoring. Um, I took the interior out so far and except this piece and the headliner I'm going to keep in. I believe this is the original headliner. It's just faded. It was gray. You can tell in some of the spots. And uh, I'll take you through a couple of the rock spots over here. Is uh, one I got to replace this. This is basically all rotted. The other rock spot is right down in the passenger rear quadrant panel. And then both cowl spots. Can't really see it in this camera sucks but right behind this piece it didn't rot through into the uh, the support piece same thing on this side it didn't rot to that but it did rot the one in here and through the panel and then the only other spot oh and the, the wheel wells of course right down in here but on the outside and the only other spot is right there that went through the back. I was poking around for rot spots with the screwdriver and it went right through very easily. So, um, I don't know what these, I don't know if those are factory markings. There's markings all faded out right here. There's a two there. There's a two with two lines under it there. There's a one on the back panel. I think that's a T. I'm not sure. And I saw another one. Oh, right here. This is a three. So, like, we got one, two, and three. I don't, I don't get it. And then there's tons of run marks. Um, let me get inside here. Back here. This is the original wood, by the way. All the wood in this car is perfect minty shape um, with the original paint on it. Now, if you look at this panel here from here to here, this corner panel, the run marks run that way where everything else, this is all the original paint, by the way, it runs down. It all runs down. Uh, and this is, this is the only panel that runs sideways. So that means this panel must have been painted before it was assembled on the car. That's that's just my, what I think. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, I need some help on uh, figuring out how to take this seat riser piece out because I do want to save this part of the riser the front and this basically the thing that the seat sits on but I do want to replace the hump and and this all of this that goes back under this now is this is that possible is this riveted uh, that's what I got to figure out if you guys could help me that'd be great and uh, it looks like some of it's screwed in and some of it is riveted um, I'm not sure how that works out. But, uh, yeah, you guys, uh, you guys are gonna have to help me out here, get through this project. Um, so, thanks for uh, viewing my site and all my videos, and uh, I'll make some more updates as I start to pull everything apart and pull the body off. That's all for now. Thanks, guys.